Hey guys, welcome back to our FCS Dynasty and NCAA Football 2006. Today we got some SEC action. Jacksonville taking on Mississippi Valley State in Jacksonville, Florida. Now the Delta Devils, they have a true freshman quarterback. He's the best player on their team. This team looks like it's really built to be great in the next year or two, especially with this quarterback. 80 overall, 1,054 yards passing so far this year. Six touchdowns and five interceptions. He's definitely learning. And their halfback is also a true freshman. Marcus Brooks, 177 yards on the ground, two touchdowns, but he does have two fumbles. So they're a young building team and expect them to be really good here in a year or two. But most of their players, their top players, at a lot of positions, are true freshmen. And here we go, Mr. Highlight, Allen Davidson, Michael Hines, players to watch for the Dolphins, Parker Corbett and Allen for Mississippi Valley State. The Discord pick of was a landslide vote for Jacksonville, 24 to one. And here is Michael Hines, first play of the game, dragged down by the face mask. And a nice run for him. That'll get him over 150 yards rushing this season. Hines looking to throw it now. Deep left side, deflected away by a freshman cornerback. And that'll bring up third down and 10. Hines, deep shot, man, wide open. It's Marshall for the touchdown. There it is, folks. You heard it here. Finally, the in-game stadium sound. The Jacksonville Dolphins when the score touchdowns. It was rough going for a little bit there. I didn't think we'd ever hear it. And I think there's a lot of people that thought that. <laughs> Delta Devils looking to answer. Brooks with a nice run for the first down. At 30-yard line. Receivers having a hard time hearing in this loud stadium. Here's Brooks right up the middle. Look at the gaping hole up in the middle of the field. Allen Davidson saves the touchdown past the 40-yard line. Huge run for the freshman halfback, and they're going to keep feeding the beast. And Brooks gets five or six more yards. Ogletree, the defensive tackle, on the tackle. Third down and five, and they go with Brooks again, and he'll pick up another first down. We've got some more drop frames here. I do apologize, but my computer's trash. So what do you want from me, guys? Parker looking to throw, deep shot, man, open. That's Corbett for the touchdown. Oh my goodness, what a dagger. Hines looking to answer, he'll take a deep shot right side, and it's Marshall again. Inside the red zone of the Delta Devils. Huge pick up for Marshall, who came into the game with eight catches, 131 yards. He's close to 100 yards receiving already here today. And Hines finds Marshall again. He'll pick up six or seven more yards. Second down and four, Tyler Matthews, the big fullback, gets the carry and the first down. With one touchdown run on the season, here's Hines, takes off, pushed out of bounds at the two-yard line. Look at his rushing career stats, my goodness. Here they go on the option, Hines will punch it in. His 16th career rushing touchdown, fourth of the season. And they'll get the Dolphins the lead again. Parker finds George. Play was snuffed out by Zane Williams, so the Dolphins take back over on offense. Here's Duke McGee, left side on a counter. He does have some speed, and he's inside the 40-yard line of Mississippi Valley State. Almost 200 yards rushing now in the season for McGee. He had a slow start, and this pass is deflected at the line of scrimmage. So Quasi Sands will be sent on for the kick, and the Juco transfer junior kicker Boots it through the uprights. Huge kick for him. And that is actually his longest field goal of his career so far. He is now 5 of 5. 17 to 7. Now the score here in the first quarter. One more play. And Brooks is going to fumble it. So we're going to have another play after this. But Zane Williams recovers it. And I do believe it was Parker Palmer that forced the fumble. Let's take another quick look here. Nope, that is actually Frank Frazier. And the four-star freshman defensive end gets his first career forced fumble. Hines looking to throw left side. Jukes McGee untouched for the touchdown. Hines now two touchdown passes. I mean five on the season. 27 for his young career. Uh, he, had a, he had a great game against the Savannah State Tigers in their opener. And then they played Cal Poly and they just all just went downhill from there. But he's starting to come back here. Playing pretty well here today. Third down and eight. And Hines chased for about a mile. He finally throws the football away. 
Very dangerous play, but his athleticism saved them from losing 20 yards. And Zane Williams drags Brooks down by the face mask. 15-yard penalty on the Dolphins. That'll give the Delta Devils the automatic first down. Marvin Joseph, head coach, very unhappy on the sideline with that call. Third down and seven. Brooks, toss play. Brooks still up somehow, and he's finally dropped by Parker Palmer. His fifth tackle for loss this season. Hines looking to take off left side. Look at all the green in front of him. And Michael Hines is gone, folks. Where was the secondary? And they are going to call this back from, with a holding penalty on Thornburg. My goodness. Marvin Joseph throwing a hissy fit on the sideline. I can't really blame him on that call. Huge touchdown negated. Dolphins going to try to get it back in the end zone. Pitches it out. Tyler Matthews, big fullback, gets a nice carry for 16 yards. Or 14 yards, excuse me. Third down and six. Hines wants a screen left side, and he's going to take off instead, and he'll get the first down, getting out of bounds after a seven-yard carry. Under two minutes left in the first half. Play action from Hines. Deep shot, left side. Mr. Highlight has it inside the 10 and down the five-yard line. Highlight came into the game with 10 catches, 143 yards and a score. And Hines takes off, and he lunges for the touchdown. Five-yard touchdown run for the young man. His second of the ball game. Fifth of the season. Ten total touchdowns for him. Just such an outstanding athlete. 31 to seven. Now Jacksonville looking to run away with this one. But the Delta Devils are not going to give up that easy. Fourth down and four for Mississippi Valley State. They will punt the football to the dangerous Mr. Highlights. And he has that name for good reason. Up past the 50-yard line, Mr. Highlight dragged out of bounds finally at the 38-yard line. Great return from him. That's two punt returns for touchdowns this season. And a kick return for a touchdown, and he has a receiving touchdown here. Oh my goodness. The second touchdown catch of the year. What a throw from Michael Hines, the corner. Not even close to deflecting that one. It's 38-7 at the half, folks. And it might be over. But you never know in conference play. The Delta Devils almost came back against the Jacksonville Dolphins last season when the Dolphins were playing them for their first win. And Corbett is going to have himself a kick return for a touchdown just like that. Huge return. And Deshaun Harris is injured on the play. That is no bueno. So all the momentum right now with the Delta Devils. Harris out for a quarter with a hip pointer. Hines almost sacked right there. Finds Juke McGee. He'll pick up nine yards on the reception. Nice little dump off pass to the halfback. Second down in inches. Hines, he'll take off. That's too easy. First down, Dolphins. Second down and 10. McGee up the middle and he'll have another first down. 15 yard carry for him. He's averaging 15 yards per carry here today. Just on three carries, he's got 45 plus yards. Hines is going to be sacked. Offensive line broke down. And that's actually a halfback in there playing some defense for Mississippi Valley State. Dalton Hayes, another subscriber player, on for the punt. And he's going to be at the 10 yard line. Nice play by Christian Hart, the tight end. We have yet to see him on offense at all today. High snap for Parker. Deep shot down the middle of the field. Deflected, almost intercepted by Walters. And the Dolphins defense. And they hold strong again. Third down and eight. Parker over the middle. And Bullocks is dropped short of the first down. So the Dolphins get the stop. And their offense is back on the field. Hines looking to chuck it deep again. And that is Mr. Highlight. And he's got another touchdown. Gets behind the cornerback. He stood no shot at that one. It's 45-14. Brooks, a nice carry from the freshman. I really do not want to face these guys three more times. I'm just saying. Brooks is stopped short of the marker. And the Dolphins will get the ball back on offense. Hines still in there. Still trying to get a rhythm going. And he's going to take off here and down at the 43-yard line. Now, when I'm... When we have high-scoring games like this and we're just blowing teams out, I do like to try to keep the starters in there for a little bit. 
just to try to get a rhythm going because as you can see with some of our quarterbacks, it's been a rough time this season with quarterback accuracy. And I'm just trying to get that timing down with the quarterbacks and receivers to try to fix those issues. Final play of the third quarter here. Hines looking to throw again. And he's got Mr. Highlight again for the touchdown. His third of the ball game, fourth of the season. Goodness. Seventh total touchdown. He does have a kick return for a score this year. Two punt returns for scores as well. And you can also do things like that. He is an amazing talent for this Dolphin team. Two of eight on third downs today, the Delta Devils are. It's third and two. And Ruggs gets the first down. This time, Pedersen drops him after a five yard pickup. Jacksonville with 15 first downs. Delta Devils with six. Parker going to try to take off. He fumbles the football. And it is recovered. Personal foul. Face mask. Face mask. On the play. Ron Parker Palmer, the young freshman defensive end. Five star talent. First down and 10. Brooks, a nice carry. Breaks the tackle of Pedersen. And Malik Bean saves the touchdown. Davis is going to be dropped here by Pedersen. He makes up for that missed tackle. BJ Harrison is injured on the play. Hopefully, he can return. Here's the pass right side. Davis has the catch and gets it up to the 40-yard line. Fourth down and eight. Mississippi Valley State going to go for it here. Parker Palmer misses the sack and the pass is completed to Corbett. So two mistakes on this drive from Parker Palmer. And here is Brooks right side. He gets lit up by Rambo. Another freshman. Four-star freshman middle linebacker. Down an inches for or counter play, excuse me. Brooks, is he gonna get the first down? He did not pick it up. Eight tackles today for Zane Williams. That'll give him 24 on the season. It's fourth down and one. Huge play. Davis is hit as he throws. That is incomplete. And we are gonna see Owen Connor on this offense. And here's Jukes McGee on the toss play. Look out, folks! Jukes McGee to the house. Just trying to run this clock out. And Jukes McGee has other plans. 82-yard touchdown run for him. My goodness. I feel bad for that defense. They had no chance of catching him in the open field. 59-14 is the score currently. And Davis taking a deep shot. Left side deflected away by Allen Davidson. Our top cornerback in the EFL prospect pool. Delta Devils will pump the football away. Mr. Highlight on his own 45-yard line. He's going to spin a couple guys out. Jukes in the open field. Mr. Highlight is gone. Just like that. His third punt return for a touchdown this season. Seventh of his career. Look at this replay. Spins through traffic. Jukes and somehow squeezes through there for the score. Looks like Devin Hester out here. Put down an eight. And that pass is going to be incomplete. I'm not sure if the tight end ever saw that pass. We're going to see the Jacksonville offense again. Jukes McGee all the way to the 25-yard line. He is just, just blowing through his defense like it's nothing. And he's going to go again right side inside the 10. Five touchdown Dolphins. We hadn't heard the Dolphins sound yet. And they're making sure we heard it here today. 73 to 14, 10 touchdowns here for Jacksonville. Dukes McGee went off, he now has double digit touchdown runs in his career. Big statement victory here in the SEC for the Jacksonville Dolphins. They're now three and one in the season. Mississippi Valley State is now one and four. And the Discord pick was correct. 24 votes to one. Jacksonville, the heavy favorites, and they delivered 568 yards of offense, 273 on the ground, 295 through the air for JU. Huge win for Marvin Joseph, the head coach. And that's going to be his 12th victory of his head coaching career here in Jacksonville, Florida. 24 points in the first quarter. I mean, the game was pretty much over then. I do like Mississippi Valley State's uh, talent. They do have some good players coming up. They just do not have a complete team at the moment. Dukes McGee averaged 27 yards per carry today. <laughs> That's outrageous. 
highlight. Four catches, 167 yards, three touchdowns. Marshall had a touchdown. Jukes McGee had a touchdown catch. Offensive line played pretty decent. Parker Palmer, eight tackles today. Career high for him, almost doubling his total on the season. Devin Rambo with eight. And that is his career high as well. It gives him 13 on the season. This defense has the opportunity to be a top five defense in the country. They just need to fix a few mistakes here and there. And I think they could be elite. But they do need a little bit more linebacker help. They only have Devin Rambo and Zane Williams. They need a third linebacker and another defensive tackle and another corner. And I think this team could really, really be title contenders, and, you know, year in and year out. But that is it for this game, guys. Mr. Highway, another punt return for a score. The guy, he is just a machine on returns. Hines, highlight. McGee plays the game for Jacksonville, Corbett, Brooks, and Davis. For the Delta Devils, our next game, Northern Colorado travels to take on 18th ranked UC Davis in a subscriber versus subscriber matchup. I'll see you guys with that one tomorrow. Take it easy.